Hello everybody, I'm Muffled Muffin, and welcome back to the channel. This is Muffin Threadstone Guide, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first thing we'll be talking about are ticks. Ticks are how long a redstone pulse lasts, and one tick is equal to a tenth of a second, so ten ticks is equal to one second. Levers have no set tick length because you can flick them on and off whenever you want, so they could be on forever or off forever. Stone buttons have a tick length of half a second, or five ticks, and wooden buttons have a tick length of ten ticks, or one second. Most redstone components that output ticks either have a tick length of one, five, or ten. There are a few exceptions, but that's generally how it works. Secondly, we'll be getting into buttons. There are two types of button in the game, stone buttons and wood buttons. Stone buttons is any type of button made out of stone, which I believe is just stone and black stone. Wood buttons is any wooden button, so there would be oak, birch, etc. and the two nether woods. All stone buttons output five ticks, which means that they're on for half a second after you press them. They cannot be hit by arrows, so if you actually hit it with the bow when you shoot them instead of hitting the wrong block, it won't go on. It just won't. See? Bang. Right in the middle of the button. It's not on. Wooden buttons output 10 ticks of redstone signal when you press them, which is equivalent to one second. So if you see, if I press this one and then I press this one, they'll go off a lot faster together than when I press them. If I press them really fast, there we go, they went off at the same time. The main difference between wooden buttons and stone buttons is that if you shoot a wooden button, it actually goes on. Uh, this will act as something that pins the button down, so the button will stay on until either the arrow despawns, falls off in the case of roofs, or you go and pick it up. Because if you shoot an arrow on the ground, you can pick it up. It is also possible to activate wooden buttons by shooting below them, However, I have not been able to do it very well today, so I don't think I'll be able to get a good clip of that for you. That has been it for today's iteration of Muffin's Redstone Guide. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a lot. Goodbye!